All right, YouTube, what's going on? We are looking at a firearm today. It's been a while since I did a gun review. And I just recently acquired this SIG here. It's the SIG P320. And I want to do a review on it because I thought it was just an awesome gun. And I think it's one that you should really consider if you're looking for a new concealed carry gun. Um, and what I, what's really cool about the SIG, first of all, is the modularity of this series of guns. It also um, shares similarities with the SIG P250. The difference being of the two, just make sure this is clear, which I thought it was, yes it is, is the trigger. It is about, it's not a long double action pull like it is on the SIG 250. This is a striker fired gun, so it has a pretty great trigger actually. Got just very little take up in the trigger here. Nice, clean, crisp break. And then you've got a really short reset. I mean, really short. And there's that consistent, clean break. That's one thing I really like about the trigger. It's consistent. Now, what's cool about these guns is that they're modular. You, and the, the serialized part of the gun is actually the trigger group. Um, you, it's easily removed from the pistol. And what, do, what that does, it gives you ways to, to, you can actually, um, I shouldn't say customize, you can exchange, you can change the way this gun is by s simply switching out the frame or they have these caliber change kits where you can switch from, this is a 9, you can switch from a 9 to a 40, a 357 SIG, all by buying a uh, new kit, which is not serialized, so it does not require an FFL transfer, you can actually buy them directly from SIG and have it shipped right to your door or you can um, get it in an FFL dealer as well but there is no background check or anything like that in included with that. So what you're looking at here is actually a full, uh, a com what they call a compact and I'll bring this frame into, this is actually the frame that the gun came with which you can see is longer than the subcompact. So what I did is I bought the compact gun, so you have uh, basically like a Glock 19, a Walther PPQ size gun, full rail if you want a full size pistol, 15 round magazines. Or you can uh, do what I did and take the compact slide and put it on the subcompact frame, which is really cool that you can do that. And guess how much this cost? 40 bucks-ish, about $44 right from SIG delivered to my door same color everything so I got the compact slide on the subcompact frame giving me an easier to conceal gun um, the nice thing is these do have 12 round magazines double stack versus a typical subcompact which is going to be around 10 uh, or even the uh, like the single stacks are going to be around 8 um, so you get more rounds you do get obviously increased weight with that but you do get the shorter grip, which, in my opinion, when you're looking for a concealed carry gun, is more important than thickness and barrel length, because that's what is going to print, mostly. I'm um, just going to put this magazine in there and keep it unloaded, but it doesn't, you can see it's pretty flush. So you have a pretty short grip, but you can get a full grip on the gun. I can get all four fingers on there, just maybe three and a half, but it's very easily easy to shoot very controllable so that's what's cool about these is you can oh I can order up a, a new frame in a matter of you know for forty dollars I basically have two guns if I want to switch these out it's really simple to do and I'll just kind of demonstrate it here you just lock it back like you're gonna assemble it push down your lever slide your that's how you know simple easy dis disassembly so this part stays the same nothing changes there and then here's your your fire control group here and you push out this pin here and I don't really want to do it, but I can show you how easy it is. Because it's not hard, but I just don't really want to switch them right now because I don't need to. But all you basically do is push that pin out. This whole unit comes out, drops right into there. You push the pin back through. Bam, now you got your compact size gun. If you wanted to get the full size, you could do that. Um, this slide obviously wouldn't work on the full size, though. So this slide, the compact works on the compact and subcompact. But if I wanted to get like a 357 SIG or 40, I can just slide that right on there, bam, good to go. Super easy, super fast, just really cool, really cool system. Like you can see here, this is the serial number, I'm not going to you know, make it too obvious here, but that's what serializes this part of the gun. So this was taken from the 250, and all they've done on the, the 320 series 
is changed it to a, um, I'm just going to trap that trigger. They've changed it to a, uh, what do you call it? There we go. Wasn't tripping for me. Um, God, striker fire. I'm losing my words there. Apologize. Which makes the trigger 100 times better. You have consistent trigger pulls. That 250 has a super long pull and on the first pull. I'm not a huge fan. I think it's actually double action only, so even every pull is pretty long and lengthy. The sights on this are your standard three dots, but they are really good, um, really easy to see, easy to pick up. The SIGs do have a lower bore axis. You know, you don't you don't get as high up on the beaver tail as I typically like, but I found that this gun shoots incredible. Like I, I'm very accurate with it. I probably just as accurate as my Walther PPQ, which is saying a lot because this is probably the best handgun that I've ever owned as far as accuracy is concerned and the trigger pull is incredible the trigger on the sig is not quite up to snuff let's do a clear here yep let's do a comparison for you so here is the trigger pull on the ppq so you got a little you've actually got more take up on the ppq than you do the sig but i'd say the overall break is less and then that reset is just bam, just right there. So the SIG is less take up, a little longer pull, and just slightly longer reset though. I mean, it's an, it's in a really, really good trigger. It's, it's really good. And I shoot it very well, just as good as this gun. And what, the reason why I got it was I was looking for a winter carry, something that carried a little bit more than my summer carry XDS, a little more capacity. And this kind of gave me best of both worlds. I've got the longer barrel, longer sight radius. I mean, the barrel length on this, I believe, is about the same as the PPQs. Maybe slightly shorter than the PPQ. Uh, same capacity, though, 15 rounds with this frame, obviously. And it's got a shorter handle, even with the subcompact or the compact frame. It's more like the size of a Glock 19. Though my one complaint about the PPQ is. The handle is a little long. It makes it a little harder to conceal. It's, it's definitely doable. I've done it, but um, you know this kind. Of, this gun's kind of been my go-to home defense pistol for a long time. I've got it set up with the TRL4 on there, the light and everything. So didn't really want to mess with that. Decided let's check out this Sig, and I am very very happy I picked it up. Now let's look at the size comparison here between the Sig 320, and I'm going to put the eight-round magazine which is new this year with the XD, uh, XDs. We're going to look at the, the size comparison. As you can see here, obviously the barrel is going to be a little shorter because this has the, the compact barrel on there, but the grip is actually longer on the XDS with that 8-round magazine. If you went with a flush mag, it would be pretty similar, but you only get 7 rounds. I've got 12 here in the magazine, one in the chamber for a total of 13, total of 9 here. So this gun is actually, surprisingly enough, easier to conceal. Um, it does have a shorter overall grip profile. Weight wise the XDS is going to be less. Um, these guns both do have full magazines, not one in the chamber. Let's just do a little comparison here. Weight. The XDS should be lighter. Loaded it weighs one pound ten and a half ounces. Loaded magazine. This weighs one pound, 13.7 ounces. Only about three, not even, yeah, just about 0.3 ounces heavier, but you get three more, four more rounds of ammunition. That's pretty awesome. You got four more rounds in there for just a little bit more weight, and you have a shorter overall grip profile. Width-wise, I just wanted to have these in there while they're... You can see the width comparison here. The XDS is obviously going to be slimmer. It is a single stack design. Single stack, I don't know if I just said that or not. Sounded like I meant to say that, but it came out wrong. Single stack, but not a ton of difference there. Let's actually do this. This is probably the best way to tell. Yeah, you can see it pretty good right there. Slightly thicker, not a whole lot. I don't know. I'm kind of 
loving, I mean, I do love my XDS. It's nice to carry. It's easy to shoot it well. It's great, been reliable, awesome gun. It's actually my second one. But uh, I'm really digging this SIG. I like him digging this subcompact um, frame with this compact slide. Give me a little bit longer barrel, longer sight radius, a little more accuracy. And it's just a little bit more velocity out of the bullet, too. This is actually my new concealed carry. For the, I've been carrying it in the Alien Gear holster. What's awesome, this is actually my PBQ holster. All I did was order a new shell from Alien Gear for 13 bucks, and it carries the SIG. Pretty sweet. That's one reason I really like those, hol those holsters. Comparing the uh, grips here of the compact and subcompact, you can see the size difference there in length. Um, these are actually, it's a little bit thicker. I mean, thinner, too. I'm not sure why, but the subcompact is slightly thinner than the compact. Yeah, just ever so little, but just enough to notice a difference, which I really like, too. So... For the cost of one, you know, for the cost of the gun plus an extra 40 bucks, I basically have two size pistols. I could swap that slide right on there, take that trigger control group in a matter of seconds, and I have, you know, a compact pistol, or I can roll the subcompact. And the 15 round mags, let me just grab one. The 15 round mags do work in the, and I'm assuming the larger 17 rounders from the full size 320 yep they fit now they have obviously a gap there but they lock into place and you know they don't make a sleeve or anything that i know of but they function they're really good for the range um good for a backup magazine you know to your carry you know flush fitting mag but you already have a good amount of firepower you have 12 rounds these are federal hsts 124 grains plus one i mean 13 rounds total in the gun is pretty substantial that's a pretty good carry and you know all for about three ounces more than a single stack nine so something to think about i've always been a big proponent of the single stack nine millimeters for carry and i didn't like the glock 26 much because it was a little too short in the handle it had 12 rounds and it seemed thicker it was i don't know these these seem thinner in the hand this is more around the size of the ruger sr9 compact which i did a review on just one of my all-time favorite carry guns so this is a cool setup here i think with the longer barrel of the compact on the subcompact frame functions and works properly no problems at all there's just a small gap right here but that's not going to cause too many issues i would just make sure it's clean which is you know you saw how easy it was to disassemble this gun so overall a really good pistol with a really good trigger i highly recommend looking at it for a concealed carry um reasonably priced i think i paid Oh, $4.99. I think that's around the, the cost of the compact size. They also come with uh, SIG night sights if you want them uh, for a little bit extra, about $80 extra. You can get them for, with the night sights. So, overall, I think a really good value and six hour quality. You know, you, one thing I did like about this is it does have the front serrations on the slide to do press checks. Simple and easy. Just really grips it there. Um, the sights are raised if you want to catch that on your belt or something to if you had to uh, cock the, the gun That's another, another cool little feature um, Just similar, you know, like I said the PBQ has the front serrations as well and the raised sights Just a little bit bigger gun um, More of a full-size pistol in my opinion the XDS is missing the slide serrations here it Does have really good ones here and the slides aren't nearly as raised as well and you also have the safety, which some people don't like. I don't mind it at all. It's on the grip. If I'm gripping the gun, it's going to shoot. <laughs> um, the one thing about the SIG, it doesn't have a rail on the front, which I don't. It doesn't bother me for a concealed carry gun. I'm not going to typically put a light on there. I will carry a flashlight, but I'm not typically going to have a light on the gun with concealed carry. Uh, just adds more bulk to the pistol, in my opinion. So, But the SIG 320, guys, is awesome. I highly recommend checking it out. It comes in different colors. as has OD green, flat dark earth you see here and the black three different frame sizes uh, full size compact and subcompact modular system that you can interchange really cool highly recommended guys so any questions or comments on the sig p320 leave them down below we'll see you in the next video